uh, I've kind of got out of the Christmas spirit this year and uh, so what I ended up doing is buying a school bus and with this old school bus I'm converting it over into something I can do my hoi chi my work out of and maybe even be able to sleep in uh, the only thing is I don't have the time I'm up here in the United States I'm uh, touring around doing my work but uh, through the Christmas holidays seeing I'm not doing anything uh, I thought I was going to focus on the bus and this way I don't have to think too much and uh, so this is what I'm doing and I'm going to talk to you a little bit what I've been doing here okay first thing is uh, I put this uh, styrofoam insulation it's all over the floors I use the duct tape and uh, to put them all together to stop the air from leaking through and uh, I've already uh, pulled all the seats out and um, I left the rubber in here if I had more time I would uh, I would go on and pull all the, the rubber off and then uh, I got uh, plywood underneath here and worked on that uh, but like I say seeing I only have uh, a week to ten days to work on this bus uh, right now it's been uh, three days four days now and well it's yeah this is the fourth day and uh, so I've already uh, pulled the mats out or uh, pulled the seats out left the mats I washed it all up and then uh, put the insulation down and put the carpeting down now. Um, okay, uh, I'm st still trying to figure out what I'm going to do on the walls. But as you see, I already got signs up. I will have signs up on this thing. And uh, this going to to do the advertising on the work that I do. So, uh, but anyway, this is one step we've been going on and uh, the bus has been working good runs good uh, trying to get used to it uh, starting up when it's so cold that's been kind of a challenge um, I say I'm not a diesel guy I'm learning all about diesels and how this thing works I plugged it in last night it's below 30 degrees all day today and uh, but I plugged it in last night and it seemed to work really good when you plug it in. This is Mike Maul, and we're talking about the school bus. And uh, I did some painting on it. Uh, you see, I did the, the door, made it black. I thought it made it look more modern. And uh, covered up some signs and stuff. Put a new knob, a uh, glass knob to open the door so I don't have to grab the rubber anymore. Now you can just pull it like that to open it up. And uh, then here as we enter, this I really haven't done too much with. This is kind of original. And then uh, as we come into the cockpit, we've uh, uh, put some shelving in. I don't know if it, yeah, there you go. You'll be able to see that. Put some shelving in here. So we've got shelving and we got the stuff we need. And uh, this is what we got here. And also we've got Xena. Uh, Xena's got her own little bed here so she can see out when we're traveling. She can take a nap right there and she's ready to go. Uh, seeing I don't have passengers, but uh, 
I did put one seat in, so I got some space. This is just some trash down here, but well, that'll be all gone. Like I say I'm just finishing up, and then uh, uh, we got this. That's the back half. That's my private living quarters. So uh, I'm not going to go too much into that. Okay, this is going to be my work table. I'm going to be doing hoi chi on the road. And uh, I got to make the cushions for that. And then it'll be ready to go. There's no insulation on up here. There is in the back, but on the up here there isn't. I haven't figured out a way yet to put the insulation on here. So it'll stick good and, and all that. And I wanted to keep the windows open because, like I said, I'm going to be working on people. And I want uh, I want people to see in and see out. Um, so that's why I had to keep this, these open. The back is enclosed. Uh, but like I say, we did all this in one week. Seven days of work. I was able to pull it out, pull all these seats out, uh, put insulation in the floor and uh, the carpet. Now, it's, I just laid it. I didn't, I don't have it down, uh, you know, permanent. And that's because I, I didn't know I'll probably have to do some changes. I did so much so fast. I uh, didn't want to do get too crazy and put things in permanent and then find out it's not going to work. Yeah, it took me uh, seven days. The first day I had uh, help because the seats were bolted in from the bottom and the top. So I got underneath and then uh, the other person was on top and using a ratchet and went through bolt by bolt. Uh, I, I estimate there was maybe 28 seats in this bus. So, uh, But like I say we got it all out in uh, one day for the first day, got them all out. And then after that, I did the rest of it all by myself. Uh, but uh, the insulation did bubble wrap for insulation and uh, but like I say it's uh, I needed something inexpensive and quick that I could put this stuff up uh, but like I say I'm planning on going on the road this is the uh, this is Christmas of um, uh, 2012 and so uh, I say I didn't want to I had a sad holiday so I want to focus on something positive and do good and keep me busy and that's what I did for uh, Christmas is one week I just worked on this every day uh, solid I probably have um, uh, I see this is uh, Friday and uh, New Year's is coming up here Tuesday uh, so I'll probably be working on this for the next uh, day or two mainly just cleaning up and like I say getting my work table ready Okay, this is the ninth day. <sighs> it's between Christmas and uh, uh, New Year's of, uh, let's see, it's uh, 2012. And uh, what I've done is uh, that's all the work I'm going to be doing on the bus for now. Uh, Limited on how much money I want to spend. I want to make sure that uh, the system's going to work before we get going. Uh, this is the bus. Uh, we've already taken it into the shop yesterday. They looked at it. There's going to be a few uh, engine things I need done on it. So I want to get that taken care of. Uh, because I'm going to be taking this thing cross country. So... Uh, I want to make sure it's running the best I can get it to run. And uh, I will be uh, putting a few more, uh, like on the side here, uh, where the black is. Wherever you see the black, uh, I took out signs and I'm going to put uh, some kind of signs in it. There'll be uh, that vinyl sticking signs or something like that. So then uh, this way I'll be able to uh, change them out. As I get going, I'm going to find out there's other things that I need to do. But as you see, I'm advertising my pain and uh, the lore. 
uh, this is what I'm going to be doing as I'm traveling. Uh, I talk on uh, staying healthy and staying safe. And this is what I do to try to pay my expenses as I get around. Hey, uh, we're going to go in, take a look at this bus. See some of the modification. I'm going to show you a little bit of the modifications. Besides the United States Marines license tag, uh, this is a uh, got that on there for opening, opening, and closing. This is when we're coming in. Uh, this right here is the the cockpit. As you drive, uh, I added the shelf here. There will be uh, CB. Uh, scanner and some other stuff is going to be added on to this stuff here plus I got all my all my traveling junk is all on there all my traveling junk is going to be on here and uh, my harmonica gotta have the harmonica and uh, I made a, a little tray right here I'll screw some uh, plastic things on there to hold stuff and uh, okay, as I want to leave these windows open along the side on both sides, I was going to make it so nobody could see in or out, but uh, I'm going to be working on people, so I want to make sure there's no hanky panky. So I want people to see what's going on, see out, and see in. And right there is uh, Zena's bed, and uh. I say uh, this is when we have more than one. I have other people waiting. They can be sitting. Now, uh, on the back side is going to be my own private quarters. And uh, so uh, we got a step here. So you step on and off. And. Uh, Get, getting easy on and off on the bed and uh, as you can see it's that's plenty of room I'm ready what I want to do took about uh, eight days of intense work to get it done and uh, I've got uh, less than what maybe less than Oh, well, less than four thousand dollars total in everything, the remodeling, uh, the bus, uh, all that stuff. So it's a uh, it's a workable deal. Uh, I know I've one time I bought a, a trailer, and it cost more than what this thing did. But anyway, this is it. Home sweet home. I hope this has helped everybody so maybe they can get some ideas on what they want to do. This is it. When you see me on the road, let me know. Uh, email me. Let me know what state you're in. And uh, whenever I come in that state, when I know I'm coming in that state, I'll, uh, I'll email you and let you know I'm coming in the state. But uh, I won't be all over the United States, but I'm going to be as much as I can cover. Anyway, this is my new life.